Hey there, welcome. It is video number 30. So we're almost about 60% of the way through this bad boy. This is the extra element four license study. And this is sub element seven alpha. We're talking about some digital electronics again. So question number one, which circuit is bi stable? So let me explain this. Bi means two stable means that it has two stable outputs that it's going to hold on to. So a flip-flop is what is the two state. So it flips and then it flops by stable. A flip-flop is the fundamental building block of digital electronics. It's what makes up computers. What is the function of a decade counter? A decade counter produces one output pulse for every 10 input pulses. Decade, meaning 10, and counter. So for every decade, it's only going to put out one pulse. Which of the following can divide the frequency of a pulse train by two? We could use a flip-flop for that. We're not talking about la chancla. We're talking about electronics. So... With an input of one, the flip-flop flip-flops. And then another input of one, it flops back to its original. And that would take two to change one state. So the flip-flop can reduce a pulse train by two. How many flip-flops are required to divide a signal frequency by 16? And this is just using the powers of two. How many powers of two would it take to make 16? Well, let's count them. 2, 4, 8, 16. Takes 4. So the correct answer is 4. That's how many flip-flops it would take to, re to divide a signal frequency by 16. Which of the following circuits continuously alternates between two states without an external clock signal? This is called an astable multivibrator. And looking over here, you can see that there's no external clock. It uses the RC time constant and some feedback to create a frequency of square waves on its output. That's what it looks like. It goes on and on and on without any help. What is a characteristic of a monostable? Mono, one time multivibrator monostable multivibrator it switches temporarily to an alternate state for a set time so this is ooh more complicated but when this takes a falling edge it produces a falling edge over here for only a certain amount of time even when this switches back this will never trigger until it makes another fall falling state so it only does it once for that input. One time. It switches states, then it goes back after that. So monostable. One, one time. Mono. Once. Which is temporarily to an alternate state for a set time. What logical operation does a NAND gate perform? NAND produces a zero at its output only if all inputs are one. An AND gate produces a 1 when both inputs are a 1. So the NOT part of that, the NAND, which is that little circle on the, the schematic symbol, inverts the output. So it's the opposite. Now before we go any further, let's take a look at the summary of these common ones. We have the AND, which is 0 and 0 is 0. Or false and false is 0. True and false is zero. False true is zero. One and one is one. So A has to be a one and B has to be a one to be a one. We're about to do an or too, I bet. Or says if both inputs are false, the output is false. But if this or that, it also produces a one and this or that are true it produces a one and this is called a truth table and you're gonna see that too 
So the NAND is two true inputs produce a zero because it is knotted. What logical operation does an OR gate perform? It produces a one at its output if any input is one. So that's an OR gate. And now for the more difficult one, a logical operation is performed by a two input exclusive NOR gate. Holy cow. So it produces a zero at its output if one and only one of its inputs is one. That's what it means by exclusive. So going back to the summary, if we have the NOR gate, see it's it's got a one right there. And then the rest are zero because it's knotted. The ex wait a minute, which one are we doing again? Yep, exclusive NOR. So you can see now it's inverted and it's exclusive. So if these two are the same and these two are the same, it's outputting a one. But if either one of these is a one, then it produces a zero. So this one is a complete mess. I don't like them. So uh, good luck with that one. I always have to look at a truth gate for the exclusive ones because I always get them messed up. What is a truth table? It's a list of inputs and corresponding outputs for a digital device. And this is the truth table. And, and that is why I need it for these two right here. And that you could find a whole bunch more of those. Um, you can find a whole bunch more on the web. And the last one, what does positive logic mean in reference to logic devices? A high voltage represents a one and a low voltage, a zero. So positive logic means that if you get a high, which might be five volts in a transistor, transistor, or uh, logic, five volts is a one, zero volts is a zero. Five volts is true, zero volts is false. That's positive logic. So while we're on positive logic, think positively. You can do this. Keep pressing forward and studying. I'm Robbie W1RCP72.